Uh, there was also a requisition from the weather department for a C-130J a few years back, wasn't it? I, I think uh, there is interest in that kind of platform. Mm. They're still evaluating what it is they need. Uh, and this is to go into cyclones. Um, in, um, uh, in the US, we use the C-130J to track uh, you know, very strong meteorological uh, conditions uh, to fly inside the clouds and the, the weather systems that are creating the havoc on the ground. <laughs> And um, and I think the Indian Meteorological Department is looking at a similar capability, but they're evaluating exactly what they need, and you know that's for them to uh, uh, to decide when they're ready. We've provided the information on the platform, and uh, you know we'll, we'll wait and see. Okay. Uh, when I was asking you about the supply chain management for C one thirty J, I mean we know that the empanages are there. But then in addition to the empanages, have you thought on something else which could be produced in India and uh, the supply chain becomes bigger for LM because LM also wants to produce here, manufacture the other aircraft here? So sure. I mean, I think, I think all of this combined uh, is really very significant. Um, certainly on the F-21, uh, that is the largest supply chain for fighters anywhere in the world. Um, so if we're able to successfully integrate uh, Indian industry into that, I mean, there is nothing better uh, out there uh, industrially to offer, really. Um, and um, that in combination with the C-130J, in combination with the helicopter work that we're doing, in combination with the missile work potentially that we're doing, we're also working with uh, an Indian vehicle manufacturer. So, you know, we have already... Uh, made a lot of those advances, and I think they will only just mushroom once, uh, you know, when some of these decisions are made going forward, if we're successful. And uh, LM has been very active when it comes to, you know, propagating research and development in, uh, you know, India, and we've been seeing that. So what is new on that front? Yeah, well, I'm... I mean, one of the areas, I mean, uh, to actually finish my earlier answer I didn't quite finish because um, you know one of the uh, areas that we've been working on uh, you're talking about furthering the C-130J uh, supply work you know one of the things we've done with our partner Tata is to design and develop a capability which goes inside the mm -hmm. C-130J so we've developed a, uh, a, a fuel tank which can be used for humanitarian or operational uh, reasons and I think the significance of that is uh, that we've been able to you know uh, from a drawing board from a blank piece of paper design develop that capability in India which will grow up eventually into a product become certified and be used not just in India but around the world so you know we we've not just uh, done or, or manufactured the tails, we've been doing other stuff. We've also introduced a metal-to-metal -metal bonding facility in Hyderabad for the C-130J to increase the amount of work that we can do in, you know, we, we've indigenized what was originally imported. We have taken the last 10 years to indigenize so that uh, you know now there's very very little apart from the raw material and some you know, discrete components it makes no economic sense to shift production uh, but by far the majority where well, we started as, as, a, as an assembly entity we're now manufacturing from raw material and and that benefited really from um, the plant next door uh, which uh, Sikorsky set up to uh, manufacture kits for the S-92 helicopter cabin. Uh, that's the biggest machine machining plant of its kind supporting the aerospace industry any, anywhere, I think, in India. Um, and that has grown over the years and is now supplying not just the S-92 but other uh, platforms. It supports Apache, it supports GE, it supports Rolls-Royce in manufacturing components. Um, but it also supports us, and so we've been uh, items that we used to import. We now manufacture next door in um, uh, the Sikorsky plant or elsewhere in the Indian uh, ecosystem. So, uh, you know, I think 
you know, we haven't just stood still. We've actually significantly, I think, increased the uh, capability and the technology that we've transferred over the last 10 years just in manufacturing the bits that we do. So we've, we've done quite a bit. And because we've done that, we know that we can do, uh, we're confident that we can develop the F-21 supply chain here and others. Thanks.